it's Candace Boy Walston from CreateFreedomWithCandace.com. I simplify marketing strategy for entrepreneurs so that they could start taking the right action and start building a profitable business online. Today, I'm going to answer viewers' questions. Number one, do I need to have a thumbnail for my video? Number two, how do I create my own thumbnail? So let's answer question number one. Do you have to have a thumbnail for your YouTube video? The answer is yes and no. No, you don't need to have a thumbnail to up, in order to upload your video onto YouTube. It's not a requirement. But yes, you need to have a thumbnail because if the thumbnail is actually one of the most important piece of your, your, your video. Before they even press play on, on, on your video, when they do a search on topic, whatever topic that you're doing, when they do a search, it, was, you, it has a list of people who have done this video. If you have a thumbnail, your video will stand out. If you have a thumbnail that's attractive and have, have a very creative side to your thumbnail, most likely attract people to click on it. In order to have a attractive thumbnail, a couple of things that need, you need to have on there. Of course, a, a good graphic a good graphic on your thumbnail. Number two, um, catchy title. You got to have a catchy title for your thumbnail. So how do I create my thumbnail? For question number two, people ask me, did you, did you pay someone to create your thumbnail? The answer is no. I do all, everything by myself and I'm actually able to show you how you could do it by yourself for free as well. So in order for me to show you, I'm going to head over to my laptop to give you a simple tutorial. So let's go. So now we're we are on Canvas. Canvas is it's a great software that you could actually create a lot of different things. If this is your first time, go ahead and create um, create an account. They do have a paid version and a free version. Um, with the paid version, you get a lot more, but with the free version, you could definitely um, create your own custom thumbnail with it. So once you go in, this is what you see. You could click on browse all so that you could see different things that you could do. I know exactly what I need to do. So I'm going to just type in, we're looking for thumbnail. Um, it comes up right away, YouTube thumbnail. So when we go there, something, couple of things that you could do when you go to the custom thumbnail. Um, you could create your own custom thumbnail or you could use the templates, the templates that they, they, they have preloaded in here. Um, whatever you wanted to do. I normally, I do, I use my own. So you, the, on the left hand side right here, there's different things that you could actually, you could actually see. There's a background, you could apply different background, or you could just simply apply color. Um, I, I, I like to have either white, black, or red. Those are my brand colors. So you could pick, pick whatever color. So let's say if I pick black, right? Um, and if I don't like it, all I need to do is just click on here and I choose a different color, all right? Just different color that I want to pick. And if it would be a good idea because we are branding ourselves, it is a, it's a good idea to actually use your own pictures in all of your thumbnail so that you, people could start seeing your face and get familiar with you, with, with, with it. So I have, I have pre, uh, pre uploaded a lot of videos. You could upload a lot of different things on your own. All right. So you could actually upload your picture. So let's say I'm going to using this picture. Now, one of the other things that you could do, you know, you could reposition the, the, the picture, however you want, you know, turn it, move it, however you want to, to do that. And it's pretty cool. Right. So, and Sometimes it depends, you know, you want to stretch your, 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 your photo. That's fine. Stretch it. It's fine. And let's say this is how you want it. And now you want to act at, act, uh, at the text. All you need to do is click on um, text and you could actually go to element and you could actually get different things inside the element um, that you could do like right here, the block, whatever. You guys could actually do a lot of different things in here with the element, the picture frames and all of that. It's very, very cool, okay? So let's say, um, let's say if I was using one of the frame, and I'm gonna show you um, how to use frame. Let's say if I'm gonna use this, all right, I'm gonna use this frame. It's very easy. I'm gonna put this frame in here. Watch, I'm gonna drag this picture in there. You see how? my pictures fit into the frame. If, let's say this is how I wanted it, okay? This is how, and you could resize it. You know, you could make the size to cover up the page if you want to, okay? 
that's the image. So let's say if I want to, um, you can move it wherever you want that, that best match your, however your taste is. Let's say if I want to add, now it's time for us to add the text. You could add text wherever you want. You could actually move the text to wherever you want. Let's say if I want to move the text right here, I want to put how to, okay. Since it's black, so you can't see it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the color. Now you can see it better, right? And all I need to do, you could do however you want. So I'm going to do how. By moving this bar right here, it could actually help you. All right, by how to create. You could change the size, you could change the font, um, however you want, okay? Whatever size you want, whatever font you want. If you want a playful, that, that, that's the playful font. There's so many different things that you could actually do with it. The size, um, the color, however you want to do it. So I'm gonna, let's say if I, I wanna do this, all right? And I want, if, it's, if the, the white doesn't stand out and you want the red one, that's fine, here's the red how to create, and then um, I could have another one right here. Custom. All right, let's change the font. Let's change the color so you can see better. All right, now, how to create custom thumbnail. All right, now we could just change the font. You want to match the font on top or you want to have a different font, whatever you want to do, all right? Because it's your design. Now again, uh, because we, I'm just doing this tutorial on the fly, so it's not my best creation just yet, all right? But you kind of get the idea, right? You kind of get an idea how to create thumbnail, custom thumbnail. And that's how you create. Once you're done, all right, guys, once you're done, let's say this is what we want. Once we're done, and you could actually move this. Let's say this is how I want it to look, all right? If you don't like it, don't worry about it. Now, let's say you say, you know what? I want this template and I, I, I like this. I want to compare. Let's say if you want to compare, you say, okay, I like this. I'm not sure if this is the best. You could actually just add a new page, all right, you add a new page and you could create another one. Or you say, you know what, I kind of like some of what uh, a bit here, but I want to uh, kind of twist a little bit. You could actually copy this page by click on that. Um, and now you copy two different pages and say, okay, I don't like this picture or I don't like this font. I could change this font, whatever you want to do. And then you could change it and you to, to say, okay, maybe I'm going to compare the font. Maybe this font looks a little bit better. So now you could actually uh, play around with it. So you can have like, they're not right next to each other and um, to compare which one is be the best for you to use. All right, so that is how you create your custom um, thumbnail. Again, you could do it a lot of different way. Just play around with it. Now, when, they, when you're done, let's say I'm done, right? Um, this is only one page, let's say I'm done, I'm gonna, you, what you want to do, you want to click on uh, download. All right, you want to click on download and there's different type of uh, file that you could download, PNG, JPEG. I normally, if you want to use uh, this image for your social media, uh, it's highly recommend to use JPEG. So I'm going to download with JPEG and all I need to do is just download. And once it's download, it, you wait for the download, then um, bam, you're done. So let's. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Let's open. Let's open up and see how you, how how your your custom thumbnail looks like. And that's that's it, guys. That is how you create your custom thumbnail, guys. Again, this is just cre creating on the fly. If you like this video, be sure to give me a like. Uh, give, be sure to give me a thumbs up. 
be sure to um, share this video and subscribe to this uh, subscribe to my channel if this is your first time here be sure to say hi to me and um, uh, so that I could say hi back to you and welcome you to my um, channel all right with that being said guys this is Candace from createfreedomwithcandace.com I will see you next time